with the U.S. is confirming a pullout from the INF Treaty in Moscow, saying that it will respond if missiles are placed in Europe. Now, there's no telling where they already have missiles set up and stationed, and you have to take into consideration here Kaliningrad, this area that they have right in the middle of many European countries. Russia has set up a base for land, sea, and air attacks. It's really critical in terms of their positioning in the region, as well as their control of Sevastopol in Crimea. Now, a lot has been in the news here lately about Ukraine and Crimea all of a sudden. And there's been some weird things happening there as well, as well as confrontations, power outages, different drills that have been going down between NATO, Russia, Ukraine, and Western forces. And at this point, you're ditching a treaty that was very critical in terms of trying to end the Cold War. It was on the table. It was a major negotiating piece between Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev. A lot of different deals were put together to try to end this here on the world stage. But now it seems everyone's hell-bent and just doing away with all that. And trying to make it seem like we are on the cusp of World War III constantly out here with Russia and China. Now, to me, it is we the people that are at threat here globally. And we're being buffaloed by the hand, left and right, all across the globe. And people, you're going to have to see this sooner than later before it's too late. So what's going to happen now? Well, this makes things interesting because with NATO, they have been surrounding Russia for the past few years, ever since the Obama administration. They've been pouring military equipment into all these different countries right there along the border. And of course, they were behind the whole overthrow of the elected government in Ukraine and then brought in all their supplies, all their companies like Monsanto and set up shop in Ukraine, which was once the breadbasket of the region. And that's how close they are right there with being, you know, nose to nose with Russia. So we'll see what happens here now after this announcement. You know how they like to jerk the chain with news these days. We'll see if uh, they try to sidestep this or if they stand firm with this or where it goes uh, by Friday. I'll update Friday nights so and make sure to join us. Underground World News Live, Friday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern, Dabu 77. Hope to see you guys there.